Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining the Stock Martin channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're back, welcome back. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video. We are gonna be talking about some very important news from Lucid Motors and its stock. It has had a very bad day. The Lucid Motor LCID stock has tanked actually up to 19%. We'll definitely talk about the stock and look at some charts and see what definitely happened. And also we are gonna be talking about, is this a good stock to buy uh, now that it is really low in the dips? Should you buy the dips? We'll evaluate that. I think you're gonna get a lot out of this video. So before we do, if you can please give me that thumbs up, the like button will be shared with others around YouTube. It'll help the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you can, please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell, hit all so you can get all my videos. Well, let's get down into it and talk about these articles. So the first article that I did wanna to talk to you about is from Yahoo Finance, and it is titled, Why Lucid Shares Tanked 10% on Wednesday. So today is September 1st, and as you have been watching my previous videos, today, September 1st, was the lockout expiration date for the pipe investors. So the pipe investors are the private investment in public equity investors. So these pipe shareholders um, were in a lockup period that just expired today. Um, whenever they first got into Lucid Motor stock, they actually bought the stock for $15 a share. And it looks like um, they did um, actually a lot of them uh, sold today, which brought a lot of downward pressure and a lot of people, a lot of these pipe investors sold uh, this stock. According to this article, Lucid Motors LCID shares uh, closed more than 10% lower uh, today at $17.79. And um, it was under a lot of pressure, downward pressure, that the lockup period expired. Um, and that some of these electric vehicle companies had big investors getting out of this stock. So what does this mean? Well, let's take a look. So according to this article, as I mentioned, pipe shareholders, which stands for the private investment in public equities, were allowed to sell their shares of Lucid Motors for the first time since the SPAC merged uh, from CCIV uh, into LCID, Lucid Motors, on July 26th. And these shares fell more than 19% in the Wednesday trading. Most of these were done pre-market uh, trading. And this has hit the lowest price since Lucid LCID has been selling and the NASDAQ. Now, this company is and was backed by the Saudi Arabia Sovereign Wealth Funds. Also, huge companies like BlackRock Funds, Fidelity Management Research, and Franklin Templeton. Now, according to this graph, Lucid Motors uh, is trying to find footing is the title of this uh, graph here. And as you can see, since July 26th, since the CCIV LCID merger, we've had this stock that went up all the way up to $26.83. And gradually, we have been dropping uh, each and every week, it looks like. Uh, we did have um, a little consolidation at $22 mark but uh, we are now on a very downward fall. Now, Lucid Motors LCID, the motor company, did try to do some public relations to fix some of these stock downward pressures by just releasing this um, statement that Lucid announces that the air production preview event will be late September. So it is now scheduled that Lucid Motor will be uh, having an event that will be starting on September 27th. Um, in its advanced manufacturing plant in Arizona. It is gonna allow uh, some media members, policy members, and a group of customers to take a look at how these vehicles are produced in their state-of-the-art facility in Arizona. Now, the next thing that we will discuss is, is Lucid Group LCID a buy now that early investors are cashing out um, production uncertainties are the biggest downward pressure, um, in my opinion, and out of this article, according to Motley Fool, that these pipe investors and also other investors are getting out of this stock. And we'll definitely have to see, is it a good buy now? There are going to be still downward pressures, a lot of headwinds that we will be going up against. 
So according to this Motley Fool article, there was panic from the pipe investors. Um, now, just to show you where that Lucid got its money from, it did start off as a company with $4.6 billion in cash. From this, $2.1 billion came from Churchill Capital, and the other $2.5 billion came from the pipe investors. Pipe investors were originally supposed to buy the LCID stock for $10 a share, and then the Churchill Capital actually increased that for these pipe investors and sold them their stocks at $15 per share. Um, because around that time, there was a lot of hype on Lucid Motor and CCIV merger. And if you remember around this time, around February, their stock shot up all the way up to $65. So I think that they used some of this leverage uh, to sell these pipe investors $15 per share. So what my concern is, is that all these pipe investors are getting out. Um, I think personally, if they thought that this company was very solid, that if they believed in this company, I personally thought that they would hold on uh, to their stock, especially that they bought it at $15. Um, I was wrong. Um, it looks like they did take profits out there and it did drive this uh, stock price down, which we will definitely see. Now, there is still a lot of downward pressure out there and it is a potential that this stock could go even lower than this. So the biggest reason these pipe investors we're selling is possibly because of the panic of production uncertainty. But the reason for Lucid slipping price share over the past month has much to do with uncertain production timetable. So Lucid Motors has not answered that one big question yet. When are going to they deliver their vehicles and they will not give a exact date. Um, we are always speculating in the past. I was, um, you know, speculating and thinking that September would start rolling out. Well, it looks like on September 27th, they will be announcing um, media and people to go to the company to see their production facilities. So that tells me maybe they could be close to delivering some vehicles. But again, we really don't know because Lucid Motors has not really said anything. Uh, Motor Trend also hinted um, that it could be in October sometime. But again, we do not know from Lucid Motors itself when these deliveries will start happening. But according to this, it is definitely bad news. I did not really think that these pipe investors would really get out of this stock by the, the amount that they did. I did feel that we would have some downward pressure, uh, but it looks like we did um, dip down. And now that we've talked about that, let's just see what this stock did. So this stock on opening bell started at $16.17 at 9.30. And this is after the pipe investors pretty much dumped and sold a lot of their stocks. They did this in pre-market uh, trading, so it's not seen here. Where it can be seen, let me go in the past five days, you could see that we ended the trading day on Tuesday, yesterday at $19.96. And just in pre-trading, we went down by 19%. There was 19% sell um, of these stocks that happened. Um, and so we opened up at 9.30 this morning um, with the NASDAQ at $16.15. But it did a uh, good news and a good sign is that it rebounded very, very quickly um, and it started to trade at that $18 point. But again, I think some people were starting to get feared that they did see um, that this uh, stock did drop in the pre-market hours. So people did start selling it off. We did in the day at $17.79, which was about 11% down. But as I had mentioned, um, pre-trading uh, hours, we were down 19%, which is huge just in like hours that you're down in this stock. So um, we did test a low actually of $16.12. Um, we'll definitely have to watch this stock in the next few days, in the next, I would say, few weeks because there's a lot of downward pressure now. I do think that this stock could have a potential. Now that I'm seeing this, it could keep going down, which is from a high of about $24 that we did test um, in early August. If we do look in the past six months, 
Um, the lowest that we ever got, and this was when um, this stock was CCIV, Churchill Capital, we did go down as low as $17.25, but we rebounded quite nicely after that. Um, but with this big sell-off, we'll definitely have to see how many retail investors are really willing to get into this stock. It depends on two really big reasons. One, do they believe in this company? Do they believe in this stock? Do they believe that this company will be able to compete with Tesla and will be able to mass produce their vehicles? Now, the second reason is will Lucid Motors produce these Lucid Air Dreams this year? If they do not, I think that this stock is going to really go down. Lucid Motors does definitely need to get that production vehicle out. And I think that they will, hopefully they will in October. Hopefully by September 27th, we'll get a big surprise and that we'll see these vehicles being produced. Well, we, we will have media in their facility. We will have other customers in there. And um, so hopefully that will be a good sign for this stock. But right now it is really getting hammered. Now, next, I did want to show you some forecast based on the trends that we've had had. According to this forecast with Wallet Investor, again, this uses artificial intelligence, just looking at the past uh, trades, the past few weeks trades, and this is predicting that the stock could go under $15. For the minimum price in the next two weeks, it could go down to $14.85, according to this, with a maximum of about $17. And right now we are um, trading right now at that $17 mark. So we definitely could still keep pushing downward. I still believe that if Lucid Motors, the Lucid Air Dream does come out um, this year, and especially in October, I think that this stock still has a very good chance of getting that $30 per share. I would not be surprised if the vehicles start rolling out you're going to see huge movement in this stock because once people see it, once institutions see that Lucid Motors can produce and deliver these vehicles, I think this stock will do very, very good. But right now there is a lot of downward pressure, uh, which was uh, brought to by the feel, fear of these uh, pipe investors. And I think it's bringing this stock down quite a bit. But I hope you learned something new in this video. Um, like I said, there is a lot of downward pressure. This stock is very volatile, as you have seen. Um, so please do your own due diligence before purchasing this stock or any other stock. But if you did learn something new, please give me that thumbs up, the like button. And also, if you can uh, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, hit all so you can get all my videos. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I really appreciate if you can share this with others, if you share it with your friends, your family, your coworkers, that next door neighbor, I'd greatly appreciate it. We are getting very close to 3,000 subscribers and I wanna thank each and every one of you uh, for that because without you, I couldn't do what I love to do, which is to research companies for you. But uh, leave me a comment down below what you think um, about the Lucid stock. Um, do you think it's a buy? Um, do you think that uh, Lucid Motors will overcome all this negativity. I really do think that it will, and I do have strong confidence in this company. It does have a lot of brilliant minds behind it, and I think that it will do very good. But again, these are just my opinions, but I can't wait to talk to you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Down below, if you would like to help out the channel, I put two links, one's for Webull. If you open an account, deposit $100, you get two free stocks valued up to $1,850. If you deposit $100 into Coinbase, you get $10 of cryptocurrency and trading. Thank you for supporting the channel.